Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS on the new game CFU. Uh, the game is well optimized, honestly, it's more for low spec uh, PC if you're playing with uh, an integrated GPU or something like that. But uh, for the majority of us, this game will look amazing and will run smoothly. So first of all, let's start with Windows, right? Game mode. Make sure that your game mode is now applied for the past six months. Game mode is really good. Uh, so I really recommend to use it. Xbox, Xbox game bar is still trash. So make sure that this one is at off. Uh, for the capture, also make sure that your background recording is at off and your recorded audio is at off. Also recommend to not use any overlay. Um, the one from Discord, AMD or Nvidia seems to causing issue when I play a game with Epic Games on both of my PC. Not necessarily all the time, but sometimes like, you know, random crash or just stuttering. So just look at that. Um, if you have an NVIDIA card, the Series 1000 or more recent, you will have an option called uh, Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling. So write graphic setting in your search. After that, make sure that you activate this. Uh, you can expect a nice 3 to 5% boost in your FPS. It really helps with bottleneck. Uh, you will see an improvement if you have something like a 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, 2060. A video card like that if you're more in the mid range or something like i range you will not see any difference with this also make sure that you update your driver uh they add like dedicated driver for this game amd i'm pretty sure nvidia too so always make sure that you update it it helps if you have like some random crash also it can help with fps normally you can expect five to ten percent boost in your fps when they have dedicated driver for a game so super important to use that another thing that i recommend is right energy in your search bar go to your power option make sure that you run something like balance or high performance in your um energy plan uh for the majority of the people with desktop computer you will not have it have an issue with this by default it will be balance or high performance but some laptop when you just plug in the wall unplug it uh, run run something on the battery sometimes they just stay at power saver or even another plan that your um uh, your your computer can be like an asus or a dell and they have like a dedicated plan don't use that really like really important to use the one from windows when you plug your uh, laptop in the wall one more thing that I can say, also I have a dedicated guide on my uh, channel about how to overclock your GPU and CPU. This one can help you a lot with your FPS, but it really depends on like your temperature, your component and stuff like that. But it can help. So now let's open the game. So now inside of the game, go to option display. So the first one will be your resolution. Make sure that you're running your native resolution on your monitor. So if you have something like a 1080p monitor, 2K monitor, super important to run the native one. Um, for render resolution, I sh you should go to max. This is not an upscale. This is more like a 100% thing. So um, this is pretty much last resort after the old guide. If you're still struggling with your FPS, you can lower this one or two. But don't go too crazy. Your game will look like blurry. And uh, yeah, it's not really good for your image quality. For display mode, I really recommend to go with full screen. Look at this because sometimes when you just relaunch the game right now, it goes back to borderless. Not too sure why, but super important to go with full screen. For your VSync, it really depends if you have something uh, like FreeSync or G-Sync with your monitor. Uh, if you have it, don't use VSync. If you don't have it, it's a question of preference. Normally, when you activate uh, VSync, you will add input lag in your game. But a game like this, it's not like an eSport competitive game that you're playing online. So if you are getting a lot of, of tearing uh, when you're playing, just activate your VSync and everything will be good. After that, video. So for the video, Shadows, this is pretty much the one that will give you mo the most of FPS. If I compare Ultra to Low, you can expect a nice 12% boost in your FPS. But I feel like Medium is a good spot. You will lose like 3 to 4% in your FPS. But your image quality will look nice at Medium. I don't see a big difference between High and Medium. So that's why you should definitely go with Medium and get those boosts. For the texture quality, it's really depend on your amount of VRAM. Honestly, if you have 6 gig of VRAM and more, go with Ultra. 4 gig high, 3 gig medium, and if you have less than 3 gig, go with low. 
Zoo distance is not something super important in this game and Ultra is taking a lot of resources. So I really recommend to go with medium. You can expect a nice 8% boost in your FPS. And uh, you don't need really more in this game, honestly. It's not like a, a big open world battle royale game. So it's not super important. Go with medium. For the effect, this one is more like um, if you're getting a big drop when you're fighting. This is pretty much because of the effect. So I is taking a lot of resources. I recommend to go with medium. But again, if you're playing on a really low spec computer, you should probably put your effect at low. So just do some testing. If you're seeing some random drops in your FPS, it's probably because of the effect. Post processing, not a big fan of it. Uh, it really depends. Do you want like a, an experience in your image quality? If yes, go with something like Eye or Ultra. If you feel like your image is blurry and you're seeing too much post processing when you're playing the game, I recommend to go with medium with this one. Foliage. Foliage gives you a nice amount also of FPS. Ultra to low, you can expect a nice 9% 9 per, 9 of uh, boost in your FPS. Um, again, it's a bit like Shadow. I recommend Medium for image quality. Not a huge difference between uh, the image quality between I and Medium. And you're getting a nice amount of FPS. So that's why I'm recommending Medium. And the last one, it's anti-aliasing. Uh, it's taking a lot of... FPS, ultra versus low, you can expect like a 6 to 7% boost in your FPS. And also, I feel like the game is just more blurry. And at low, it's not that bad. You don't see a lot of aliasing in this game, so it's really good. So just go with low, you will have a nice boost in your FPS. And also, your image will be a lot more clearer. So this is pretty much it, guys, for CFU. Not like a huge uh, resource hog uh, game. It's well optimized. It looks good uh, because of the art direction that's very good in this game. It's really amazing. So if you have any question about this game, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.